the 747SP versus 747. What's the difference? 747-100 was introduced in 1970s and instantly became a hit with most airlines for hub and spoke long-haul international routes. Okay, so this is the 747-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-100-
orders. The 747-100 sold 205, while the SP sold 45. Really, the SP was a niche aircraft for a niche market, and unless airlines needed the range, the additional seats, cargo, and better economics per passenger of other 747s make more sense. So there we are, the long range SP and low seat cost regular 747. The perfect example of why shrinks of aircraft often end up with low demand. While there's additional range, the deoptimized seat cost means few airlines will need it. Boeing should hopefully apply these lessons to the 777X. The poor sales of the Dash 8, they need to rethink the 777X lineup. Thanks for tuning in and to meet next time, one team, one aviation, one sky ahead.